Good morning, I'm Josh Holton. And I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. Well, color commissioners are pushing back a rezoning hearing after hundreds of residents showed up to it Monday, but were left waiting to be heard. The decision to postpone the meeting came during the meeting to decide the fate of the controversial gas station project near Wakulla Springs. But after only a few of them spoke at the beginning of the meeting, the idea was postponed and it might end up being rejected altogether. In addition to opposing the gas station, several speakers asked to move to a larger venue since hundreds of people had to remain outside during a heat advisory with temperatures reaching into the triple digits for the 5 p.m. meeting. After about 30 minutes of public comment concerning the threat of a gas station that could pose a threat to the county's drinking water and to the springs, Commission Chair Ralph Thomas called a recess and postponed the agenda items about the gas station to a later date so they could get a larger venue. Gil Damon is a local resident who stood in line for nearly an hour to express his disapproval before being turned away due to overcapacity. We need folks to be heard. And, and what we saw tonight was folks were having a hard time being heard. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's good. You know, I, it doesn't make it right to move ahead with this. Um, you know, what we need to do in the meantime is we need the county to, to explore some serious options. And I believe that there are commissioners who want to do this. Um, but we need to make sure that it doesn't happen. Commission Chair Ralph Thomas said there are talks of the state of Florida acquiring the land. I have spoken to our representative, Representative Schoff and also spoken with a representative of the, the gas station. And I cannot promise anything, but there's a very good likelihood that we believe the state of Florida, through the Florida Forever Fund, will purchase this land. Uh, I, I cannot promise that. I want you to know that's not my decision or this board's decision, but I can tell you that I've got permission to say that it's a, it's a very earnest conversation. And so continuing this may give a chance for that to, per, to pursue as well. The county has been under fire by residents who claim the commission is ignoring community input. The county has not yet announced when the next meeting will hold a vote on the proposal, but it did say it will take place at Wakulla's Community Center. We'll hear parts of this meeting and take your comments on WMNF's Tuesday Cafe today, coming up at 10 this morning. After an internal investigation revealing appointment fraud, WMNS Chris Young reports that the Hillsborough County Tax Collector's Office is announcing changes to its appointment scheduling system. Hillsborough County tax collector Nancy Milan noticed an influx of complaints this summer. Uh, we had a number of complaints of folks that were just simply not able to get an appointment online. Her office also heard rumors of suspicious activity. So, after launching an investigation, they uncovered the scam. Scammers would book driver's license appointments in bulk and resell them for a fee. There's a number of things that we're doing behind the scenes that hopefully will deter that behavior. This includes only allowing one appointment booking per person and requiring customers to enter their or a parent's driver's license number. Customers must confirm that they're Hillsborough residents before booking, and staff now check that names and IDs match. Milan hopes this helps curb scammers. We want to make sure that people are protected and that we're ensuring the integrity of those appointments that we have out there. The tax collector's office encourages residents to take advantage of online services when possible, including online driver's license and registration renewals. For WMNF News, I'm Chris Young. At least one Florida school district is canceling AP psychology classes for the upcoming school year. Sid Hutchkinson has those details on the decision by the Duval County Public School District. The move comes in response to a back and forth last week between the College Board, which designed the Advanced Placement course, and the Florida Department of Education over content related to gender identity and sexual orientation. Florida's education rules ban instruction on the topics through 12th grade unless they're explicitly included in the state standards. The College Board says the class won't be valid for college credit if teachers don't cover all the topics. Last week, Education Commissioner Manny Diaz said schools can offer the course, but districts are dropping the class anyway over fears that teachers would be forced to violate state law. Duvall says it's reassigning students enrolled in AP Psychology to other college credit courses. As of Monday afternoon, the Nassau and St. John's County School Districts were still planning to offer AP Psychology while Clay was undecided. I'm Sid Hoskinson in Jacksonville. In some areas of Florida, the money collected on hotel stays is down. WMFE's Danielle Pryor reports tourist development tax numbers were down in Orange County in April and May, 
with several conferences pulling out of Orlando citing new laws like Stop Woke. Hotel occupancy rates were down 4.3 percent in June compared to the same time in 2022. Advanced hotel bookings for the rest of the summer are down by 1.2 percent. Alan File is a professor at UCF's Rosen College and says the heat and the political climate of the state could be to blame, but he thinks most of it is the market leveling out post-COVID. A lot of people really wanted to come to this area. They did through COVID. A lot of people came just post-COVID. I think it's just the market adjusting. So I would say that's probably about 70%. File also says higher home insurance prices and inflation mean people have to choose between basic necessities and paying for a theme park ticket. In Orlando, I'm Danielle Pryor. Heat alerts are in effect across the entire nation today, including our area. Meteorologist Megan Borowski from the Florida Public Radio Emergency Network says that heat index values could become dangerous. Right, so when you combine summertime heat with the elevated humidity levels, that's going to make it feel between 100 and 110 in many parts of our state today. Spending prolonged time outside, especially doing strenuous activities, could lead to heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Megan says that to remain safe, we should stay hydrated, wear light-colored and loose-fitting clothing, and if possible, limit our time outside. She reminds us to never leave children or pets unattended in vehicles. It's warm and fair in the Tampa Bay area. There is a heat advisory in effect from noon until 7 p.m. tonight. Drink plenty of fluids, stay in an air-conditioned room, stay out of the sun, check up on your relatives and neighbors. Highs will be in the mid-90s with heat index values of up to 110. Tonight, mostly clear, overnight lows in the high 70s, and tomorrow, hot with a stray shower or thunderstorm possible and highs again in the mid-90s. I'm Josh Holton. And I'm Sean Canan with the WMNF News Headlines. This is The Scoop, recorded at WMNF Tampa.